everyone, it's great to see you all. Let me tell you a story. When I was 8 years old, most of my friends had the newest doll being sold at the stores. It was a Cabbage Patch Kid doll. They were so cute and of course I really wanted one, but I didn't say anything to my parents. My mom had the sweetest way of surprising me when she wanted to give me a gift. She would ask me to say yes or no. Of course, I would always say yes. One day after school, she asked me that question and after I said yes, she pulled out a doll that looked like a Cabbage Patch Kid doll. I was excited and thanked her for it and she told me, I know that this isn't the exact doll, but for right now, can you please accept this one? I said, yes ma'am. I played with my doll just like all my other friends. Then on Christmas morning two years later, my parents gave me a real Cabbage Patch Kid doll. I was so excited that I carried that doll everywhere with me and showed her off. My parents taught me to trust them and be patient and be thankful for what I have. I lost that doll, but the lesson my parents taught me was and is more important than any material thing and will last a lifetime. In today's Bible story, we will meet a rich young ruler who wants to know how to get into heaven. Do you know how to have eternal life and live forever? Let's learn how to do that together. Today's Bible story comes from Matthew 19, 16 through 22 and it's a conversation the rich young ruler is having with Jesus. Now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments, he said to him. Which ones? Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these things I have kept from my youth, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Wow! The rich young leader chose to keep all his stuff over following Jesus and walked away sad. You see, he found his identity and worth in the things he owned. True riches come from a relationship with God, obeying God's instructions even when it doesn't make sense, understanding that salvation isn't earned by works but received as a gift from God, and trusting God fully even when we have tough decisions to make. Just like my mom knew that I wanted that doll even when I didn't say anything. God knows you and knows exactly what you need before you do. He also knew that our greatest need would be a relationship with Him and that's why He sent His Son Jesus. God knew we could never be good enough to get into heaven on our own, nor have a relationship with Him unless Jesus paid for our sins with His blood on the cross. Salvation is a gift to us from God because God knows me and He wants me to follow Him. Jesus invites us all to follow Him. When we accept and follow Jesus, we have the best treasure that money can't buy. That's how we get into heaven and have eternal life, accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Our memory verse reminds us that God examines our hearts and knows everything about us. Remember, God cares about why we do things and our attitudes, not just our outward behavior. Let's review our key point and memory verse. Our key point is, God knows me and He wants me to follow Him. Say that with me. God knows me and He wants me to follow Him. Let's say our Bible verse together. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or when I stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. Psalms 139, one through two. Let's say it again. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. Psalms 139, one through two. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for wanting what's best for us. Please help us want to trust you, obey you, and follow Jesus more than our desire to have things. In Jesus' name, amen.